helped actually develop one of the registries or several registries. And one of those registries was the epilepsy registry. And in doing so, I had gone in and I was testing the registry and I had come across one of my patients who was an adolescent young lady, uh, had come in and had seen me for what was suspected to be seizures. I had requested her to get an EEG and somehow it fell through. It just never got done. And so with the registry, I was able to kind of see that the, here's a patient, she's not meeting her registry requirement that I had come up with. And so we were able to reach out and contact this young lady, get the EEG done. And sure enough, she had had what we suspected was epilepsy, but obviously the EEG was confirmatory. And that's important because she's going to be getting into driving age. And if that test had not been done and she began you know, operating a motor vehicle or even, even before that, she could have been placed into a harmful situation that could have hurt her or killed her. When you're following lots and lots of patients and you're responsible for lots and lots of patients, you need tools to help you follow those patients and make sure that the things that you expect and the things that you want to do for them as a clinician actually happen and that you're reminded of what needs to be done.